We must be simple in our desires and simple in our ways. When we are simple in our desires and our ways, we're going to be less perturbed by the things that we do not have and are unable to acquire. Not only that, but we will be less distracted by the things that we have because we are simple in what we have. We're not pack rats. We're not trying to, to acquire many things because those who tend to acquire many things, they're bogged down by stress and constant worry. The, the rich man who has, uh, you know, uh, 10 supercars, so to speak, 10 sports cars, he's going to be more worried about maintaining and keeping all those up to date as opposed to the one person who has one sport car. Uh, you know, the person who, who has a huge house, and we're talking acres and acres uh, of land, but also, uh, you know, many thousands and thousands of square footage, they're going to be much more worried about maintaining and keeping the house in order as opposed to the person who has uh, a big house uh, but it isn't one that's entirely oversized to where it's a it's a twenty five million dollar house, and you know each room takes a full day to clean and be kept up with. We just need to be simple in our desires and our ways. And as the ancient uh, uh, Stoic once said, Seneca, he said, "We use things oftentimes not because we needed them, but because we had them." Many times we feel an obligation to use what we have simply because we have them. But in reality, if we didn't have those things, we wouldn't feel the need to want to get them, uh, depending upon what it is. And so when we are able to be simple in our desires and our ways, and, and through that, that is going to help us to not be pack rats, to need to acquire many things in this life, to not be materialistic in this life, but to be able to enjoy good things and find things, but in moderation. Because the person who is simple in their ways and their desires, they are not going to be bogged down by always thinking about keeping things up to top-notch, uh, uh, you know, prestigious shape. They're not going to worry continually about, is someone, you know, someone with, let's say, three houses as opposed to one, they're not going to be thinking, oh, I got to get cameras for this house. I got to make sure no one, you know, is breaking in. I got to check the cameras all the time. What was that alert? Okay, it was just a squirrel that time, but what if it's a human? They're always going to be living in that sort of fear. Uh, and so those who are simple in their ways and desires, they're going to have much more tranquility and much more peace about their lives. Now, we're not saying these other things are, are terrible or wrong. We're just merely saying it's good to understand and have moderation in all things and to be simple in our ways and desires. Because if we're simple in our desires, we're gonna tend to desire what is necessity and what is pure and what is good. If we're simple in our ways, we're going to tend to not feel so stressed about having to do everything, but we're gonna do what is merely required of us and then uh, understand an appropriate amount of leisure time and be able to press fully into that and enjoy it rather than constantly adding up our list and saying, oh, I gotta watch all these shows by this time, or I gotta travel you know, here, here, and here by the, uh, by the end of the year. And we won't be bogged down by that. Rather, we will just be simple in our ways and our desires, and through this, this brings forth peace. And we know true peace comes from him who is peace, uh, who is God, and we become born again when we believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins. When this occurs, we can truly begin to live a life that is simple and in simplicity because the godly life of simplicity brings forth great content contentment and we know that godly contentment produces great gain not merely or necessarily in this life based upon the world standards but most certainly in the one to come so may we be simple in our desires and our ways and forever keep our mind fixated on God because his ways are the right way. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And if we are just simple in our ways and our desires and in our pursuits, God will take care of the rest and we will be much more at peace here in this life as we will not be caught off guard or pursuing after things that really in the end do not matter.